Hello, everybody. Andrew Blake from the DigitalAudioManual.com. Today with an announcement that multi-language support for my channel has finally arrived. This new option for multi-language has kind of been in the works in YouTube for at least a year now. It's only appeared on my channel during the last week of August of 2025. Previously, there was always an option to try to include some kind of extra languages in the subtitles of any video that a creator would make. This feature is a whole different thing. It initially was given to a handful of test channels, and that's why some users have been experiencing it, but it was not given to all of the YouTube community. Instead, it's kind of been rolled out in various stages, little bit by little bit. I received an email probably about a month ago saying that my channel was finally going to be turned on with this feature. Of course, I was very excited because I've heard from so many of you, please make your videos available in whatever language is your native language, which may not be English. Understand that a YouTube creator has no control over when YouTube and Google actually turn this feature on. Once it has been given to a channel, then that creator does have the option to not use it or turn it off. But a creator has no control of when YouTube actually gives them this feature. Truth be told, I didn't even know it was active until I was looking at one of my own videos and I saw some information in the lower corner that I'd never seen before talking about auto-dubbing and it gave me one of those uh-oh moments, we may have arrived here. Let me try to give you a demonstration of what has changed and how you can use these options now different from before. In front of me I have a video I created at least a month ago. If you come down to the lower end of the video where the gear is and click on that, you have all kinds of options that YouTube gives you in terms of how you want to adjust either the quality of the video or different things that you see on the screen, subtitles. But missing from this list is any option that allows you to actually change the language that you hear. Again, there's some options with subtitles. There is something in here, but it's not very elegant that way. And every time you play one of my videos, I can see that there's still only one audio event. And you would have to say, well, how can I get the dialogue in English? And that's pretty much it. Whereas if I go to a recently uploaded video, something I've put on my channel in the last week or so, and I come down to that same gear, this is available to anyone in the audience that's watching these videos. You can click on your own gear on your own screen. As you move up this list now, you have a new entry that says audio track. In this case, it says audio track with a 12 and it says English. This is telling you that this audio track for this video now has 12 different languages available to it that have been basically dubbed in and will allow you to hear this video in any one of those languages. If I move to the right and click on English, I now have all of these languages available and you have all of these languages available. So if your native language is French, you click on this and now you play the video. Bonjour à tous, Andrew Blake de digitalaudiomanual.com. Aujourd'hui, nous allons aborder les parties et les événements dans Pubaz. Isn't that something? If I go back to that gear and I say my native language is Spanish and then I play the video. Hola a todos, Andrew Blake de digitalaudiomanual.com. Hoy comenzaremos a hablar sobre las partes y los eventos en Cubase. Partes y eventos, ¿qué son? I couldn't have said it better. What an amazing new option for sharing knowledge all around the world. Now, be aware, this is only happening with newly uploaded videos. I have been told by YouTube that they may, in the future, try to go back to the old videos and reanalyze them and add this feature, but I wouldn't hold my breath for that. And because of that, I'm doing a lot of work in the background preparing something that I'm going to announce to you in the near future, and we'll just leave that for when that time arrives. But in the meantime, for those that have been waiting for something like this, with each new video that comes out, you can now begin exploring and listening to these videos in your language of choice. So enjoy that. I'm excited to share it. And once again, what an amazing time for us to all be here in history. Be sure to stop by the digitalaudiomanual.com and I'll see you on the next video.